Hey family, God bless you, God bless you. So I wanted to come on and make a make a few videos um, just to kind of catch people up with uh, things that have been going on in, in my own walk. And because the Lord has been sharing a lot of a lot of personal things, a lot of personal revelation with me. And uh, this one that I want to share with you guys today is is a personal revelation, but it also relates to other people. Um, it affects other people. So I wanted to put this out. Um, I feel I feel led to put this out. Um, I don't know if this is going to if this is because he wants to confirm things with with people with certain people or or maybe give them a direction um, by by me rev by me sharing this and them contacting me. I don't really know exactly what he's trying to work through this, but or how this is is going to be set up how it is set up because you know God tells us the end from the beginning that's how we know our God is true so everything that he's already revealed that he's revealed to me has is already laid out and we're just catching up we're seeing the we're, we're trying to catch up to where he's at because he goes before us so um of course I want to give all glory to my God my Savior my God in heaven, Yahweh, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And um, I just want to make sure people know that this, this is who I serve. That's who I serve. It doesn't matter whether I get revelations, whether I get visions, whether I get dreams, whether I have any gift that he chooses to give me I, I could have none of these things and just just having his grace is what sustains us his grace sustains us his mercy sustains us and it's just a blessing to be able to serve him to be used to be a vessel so I, I take none of these things to the head and um exalt myself in any way uh, you know I, I go humbly before my God and I pray every day to stay humble at his feet you know so that I can be a holy vessel so he can use me but anyway um, the uh, title uh, or at least the title that I wanted to that I want to title this video is uh, mantle of kings with anointed crowns like, I, I had so many ideas to of what to title this because it was it, it all had but it all had to do with 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 this mantle of, of this kingly mantle and these crowns and the Lord's just been leading me um, about you know crowns and kings and things like that and and then he gave me a couple dreams that I want to share with you guys. And uh, some understanding on it. So, so I had this dream, um, and it was confirmed by, or I had I had one that I had kind of forgot about, and then this dream that I'm going to share first um, confirmed that one, and it, it reminded me about it. But in this this dream I want to share first, um, I was getting ready for school, and. Uh, so, you know, that, that obviously tells me, you know, I was preparing to learn. I was preparing to to be educated. I was preparing to go, uh, you know, in, in, a, in, in a school atmosphere. You, you go there to learn. You go there to to study and, and uh, you know, to be tested and things like that. So, so um, as I was getting ready, I had put on or I had on this uh, Philadelphia uh, 76ers jersey, the, the basketball team. And I went to get a, a, ba a, a basketball, like a um, a hat, a cap to match it, um, the, a, another 76ers uh, cap 
to match the jersey. But uh, I noticed when I the first cap I had, it was a, a Bulls cap, the, the, the basketball team, the Bulls. And it had a bull on it. And then I had took that hat and put it on top of a little, like this pedestal and um, like this little display pedestal and and then, but it was weird because when I turned it around, um, it, it or I wanted to, I then switched it and and I had it and then I had a 76ers cap, so I had put this Bulls cap down, but then when I turned the Bulls cap around to I guess to look at it or something, it was now this like white military style hat um and it had these badges on it so i then looked in the mirror and i like i was completely different i looked uh my my face was different um and i had long blonde uh dreadlocks like they, they were like a, a blondish color and I, I had these these long dreadlocks and and i had this big like ponytail of it, of the dreadlocks, um, like in a bun on top of my head. So then I went to take that 76ers hat and put it, and put it on, but uh, I noticed it was, it, it now, it looked the same color as the blonde dreadlocks that I had, but it was like a fleece. It looked like a fleece. It was like a blonde fleece. So, and it made me think of gold. And then I noticed I had looked like I, I looked again at myself and now, excuse me, I looked like an old man and my, but my skin was, was, was starting to peel off. But like this whole, t at the whole time before I had looked at the old, that I looked like the old man, I was like smiling at myself as I was seeing myself. I don't know if I was looking in the mirror or what, uh, but I, I know I could see myself. So the Lord gave me a, a breakdown, um, you know, a, as I started trying to, to understand this dream. So what I what I got from this uh, was a few things. And, uh, you know, just glory to God for, for giving me understanding. Um, thank you for the Holy Spirit, you know, for leading me, guiding me into the understanding of, of spiritual things. So. I, I'm like, I'm not completely sure about the whole 76ers thing, but because I looked up the word, I mean, I looked up the number 76 in the Strongs, because that's usually where he, t he leads me, uh, where he's been leading me as far as numbers, getting numbers. He's been leading me to look into the Strongs Concordance, and uh, typically... That has give, has given me either a confirmation of something or a deeper understanding of something that he had already previously was uh, leading me to. So, but uh, in this case, I I did not really get anything from, I, I, or at least I didn't really see anything that clicked for me um, in the concor in concordance with the number seventy six. But the fact that the team is Philadelphia. That kind of stood out to me, and I, and I feel it might be representing um, the Church of Philadelphia. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. So, But that's kind of where I feel like he was leading me with this. But the next thing that stood out to me uh, was where I had looked. Um, I had looked into the word hat or cap in Hebrew, which... Um, I was led to 3737, and I think it says Carbella, and it means a helmet or a cap. And then uh, it also says in Aramaic from a verb corresponding to that of Carbell, which means a mantle or a hat. And then, so I see that he's saying that this is or I was being shown a specific mantle here. So I took off the first hat, which was a bull's hat. And I feel that relates to 
the sacrificial bull, um, you know, as they would give offer the offering of, of the bullock, and I placed it down on a little stand, which I believe symbolizes an altar. So this can symbolize an offering being laid down. So the bull, the bull's hat had then changed and was then this white military captain's type hat. And it had these, it was decorated with all these badges. So I believe, um, and it, it showed a rank there, but I don't want to talk about that. But I believe this was representing like a mentor position or a rank as a leader, which he's given me that. Um, he's given me a word about that plenty of times, and I shared that. And um, God was showing me that the, the righteous offering that I am able to lay down on the altar because of Jesus or uh, because of my faith in Jesus and what Jesus did in his blood, he has made me pure and white like this hat, like the new hat, and he, and exalted me to the place he has me now, which has shown me that rank or this mantle, this, this leadership, this kingly mantle. So that leads me to the next part, um, which, which seems to confirm that um, what I was just saying and as I saw myself differently now and and I had that blonde I had those blonde dreadlocks which to me stood out to be gold or was relating to gold and I was now placing on this new hat that was covered in this this blonde fleece or or the golden fleece so this is symbolic to a gold crown and uh, a, a kingly mantle or a, a leadership mantle. So I looked up some stuff, you know, just in, in the myth, mythology about the golden fleece. And I came across this one statement that said that the gold fleece is a symbol of authority and kingship. So that confirmed it for me right there. But then I looked into to the word and the Lord led me to Song of Solomon 511, which says his head is as the most fine gold. His locks are bushy and black as a raven. So that's directly confirming what I saw in a dream. And uh, he saying he was showing these locks, which we know, you know, a lot of times he told the uh specific Israelites and things like that to that they had to grow out their hair and uh, like the Nazarites and um this was this was looked up in, you know this was a, a a righteous thing this was a whole a holy and righteous thing and um so this you know that could be a, a, a symbolic thing in itself but and then when my when my face was old but it was peeling, uh, I believe this represents the transition from the old to the new, or coming into the new wine skin and the new person being revealed. So he was saying he was going to be revealing my identity soon, my new identity. So I don't know if he's saying he's going to be revealing it to to the world as as he had told me before. Um, when I shared in other videos about the sons of glory, how he was going to reveal them unto the nations. I don't know if he's talking about that or if he was saying to me personally, he was going to reveal to me. He was going to begin to reveal to me who I am, which again, I think that may be more of the case because of the fact that I was getting ready for school. And as I was saying, you know, this was saying I'm going to be learning. I'm going to be. He's going to be teaching me. So he's te he's beginning to teach me, um, you know, my identity, my new identity, allowing me to to be. He's preparing me to step into into that role, into that position. So, uh, like I had, like he's he's shown me many times multiple times before that the, the purpose for my leadership mantle 
is to bring up other leaders uh, because he has told me before that I was a leader of leaders. And, and then I've had the dream where they told me that I was being, um, I, I was being trained to be a, a manager and you know all the all these other things that I've that I've shared on that. So as I was writing as I was writing all of this up, because um, I had shared this with a, with one of my brothers, and as I was writing all this stuff, he was he was giving me all this information that I'm sharing with you right now. And um, one of the things he has said to me about this was uh, he has said the seeds of my tree will blossom into more kingly trees. So, and, and I had this this vision as he was saying that, um, I was thinking of this, I had envisioned this tree, like this big tree. Uh, and and like this, this big tree was a kingly tree. And then the seeds of that tree will, you know, the, the wind of the Holy Spirit will blow those seeds into the ground and grow up more kingly trees and he had told me that before as I said that about the whole being a leader of leaders and um, he had said before that I was a pioneer and he had talked he had talked about uh, this being in a, a apostolic um, there being an apostolic application to this as far as planting and establishing. So I had shared this with my brother and it was awesome because he confirmed, because I didn't tell him anything about this vision that I had when the Lord, when he had said to me about the whole seeds of the tree blossoming more kingly trees. And then he told me that he had this vision and he saw a big tree with crowns hanging from it. And I was like, yo, glory to God. That is awesome. Like only God could, he directly showed him exactly what he showed me to confirm it. So that was awesome. So praise God. And then I had remembered as I was saying that there was another dream that I had. There was another word that I had about all of this before I even had the dream that I shared in the beginning of the video. And, but I kind of had forgot about that. And then he reminded me, and, then, and I had this dream, uh, June 9th, which I forget, I didn't write down when I had this, the, the first dream I shared. But the, the one, the first word I got about all of this was on June 9th. And I had saw in this dream, I saw this group, I saw a small group of men. And then I saw a word. At first I saw the group of men and then, and then it's, it changed. And then I just saw in big, bold, white letters, it said Kings. And then I was speaking to someone I, and I believe this was the Lord that I was speaking to, but I, like, I, I didn't see him. But I, I know I, that I was speaking to him, and as I as I was speaking to him, um, I had said, "Okay, I will lead them." So I I was agreeing, where I was accepting this uh, call, I guess you can say, uh, to lead these kings, this small group of men that were kings. So that. This dream um, was confirmed by everything that I just shared with you. So, so I was just like, I'm just very excited because it, you know, this stuff just blows my mind. Like, like how, why, why, why me out of anybody in the world, you know, that like, how does the Lord choose to pick us to do these things? You know, because it, it's like, there's there's so many like I've never in my I've never ever really been ambitious had ambition to to lead anything honestly um even like when I when when I used to run track and and I became uh you know one of the um the older I guess you can say 
athletes on the team. And, you know, once once you became the older athlete or the, the upperclassman athlete, then you were typically supposed to go into the leadership role, you know, and help lead the, the younger classmen, the younger athletes. And even then, like, I, I've i really just, like, I've never really, I've always been more of a, a loner type type person and which is not you know not that great as being a Christian and you know I've, and the Lord's been helping me to to grow out of that to be uh, to you know to have fellowship with other Christians more and other brothers and sisters more and you know to, to unify because we're a body and we can't just be we can't be a loner Christians you know, a one man team, because it's just not going to happen. But uh, but that's just how my that's always been my personality. You know, my a characteristic of me. Like I, I would just rather just go do it on my own than than have a bunch of people, you know, doing something with me. So and so that's how I know like that this is the Lord this is of the Lord and this is not of me because I, I have no ambition to lead anybody and but he's been pushing me in that direction for a very long time because I remember a long time ago I had this dream where I was speaking with this angel um, who took on the form of, of uh, one of my aunts and had and and this angel had asked me if I if I wanted to be a pastor and and I was like no and she had she had asked why and I said because that's scary and she and she laughed and she was like well if you change your mind I know somebody that could help you out with that that could hook you up and obviously she was talking about the lord so and this was years ago, like years ago, and and he's just been pushing me in that direction ever since, like little by little, like even even through these videos, he's been having me teach people and shepherd people off video and stuff like that, and and that's been nothing but the Lord doing it through me because I couldn't do none of this stuff. I don't know, like outside of him, outside of the understanding that I get through him and through the Holy Spirit, I would have no idea what I'm talking about. Literally, I would have no idea what I'm talking about. And so I literally give him all the glory. I give him all the credit because it is nothing of me, any of this stuff. Is, is nothing coming from me because there's no way I can link up these things the way that he does for me and it's just amazing God is so amazing so if you don't know Jesus like it starts with him it starts with him he is the way there is no other way to get you know a lot of people come to me asking questions about ask questions about the word and asking questions about just things in general spiritual things deep very deep spiritual things and I and I keep trying to get people to understand you know you have to know the Lord on your own you can't just I mean you know I'm glad he uses me to help others but really what he is really using me to do is to help them to be able to come to him on their own, you know, get so that you can build your own relationship with him and he can take you through all these things because I can't teach you all this stuff. He's going to teach you. The, the Holy Spirit is going to teach you. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm just being the vessel that he's just choosing to use to, to speak through and and to teach certain things but ultimately it's up to you to get with him so that he can take you on the journey that you're supposed to go on so anyway like i said you have to know jesus got to have a relationship with the lord you have to have a relationship with the lord jesus christ and i don't care whatever you want to call him yeshua jesus 
listen, he knows who you're talking to. He knows when you are talking to him. He knows your heart. He 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 does not judge us from the outside. He he searches the heart. That's what the word says. Our God searches the heart. So he knows if you are genuinely seeking after him. And he will lead you and tell you if you aren't. So you got to learn how to trust in that. Just trust in his guidance, you know, because he is our light. He is the light of the world. And he will light our way and he will make your path straight. But you got to lean on him, trust in him, and abide in him and him only. So I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll talk with you soon.